So, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get in a wager against Sleazy Drew. Now, Sleazy Drew, very tough player. I've played him about three or four times last year in wager matches. And I'll, even though I was able to win all of them, they were always hell games. Always, always, always a very, very, very tough game. And um, I'm expecting nothing less of uh, this man. This will actually be the very first time I'm going up against him. Uh, I kind of... Uh, uploaded the videos out of order <laughs> because i don't have night train lane in this one but the previous videos i did but listen i streamed like 19 hours yesterday okay i'm a little i'm a little out of it <laughs> but um you know i, I know i'm be going up against a, a a tough player not really sure what to expect offensively or defensively from him and whatnot so uh just uh hoping to be successful so um <clears throat> one thing i definitely uh, I'm hoping for is, you know, do good on the run. He's got Nitschke. He's got Vic. He's got Johnson. And uh, first thing I know, I see Vic. I'm like, geez. Okay, well, got a game plan around uh, for specifically for Vic. You just don't want that man to be running uh, amok, running loose. So got to have a spy up. You have to. He's just way too fast. So uh, that right there can change everything of a defense because, you know, I'm going to be sending one less guy. I get stuck on the D lineman right there. And uh, while trying to make adjustments, and he caught me slipping, so good job by him as Michael Vick takes off. But like I said, we will have our spies up there right there. Don't test that user. We got ourselves a user lurk. So uh, right here, I noticed uh, he starts sending a play uh, I haven't seen before. So um, some type of like under smoke looking type blitz. I don't know the name of it, but uh, I, I do know that. Uh, whew, I got to try to avoid, right? Because I don't want to go on ahead and start facing a, vit, a blitz. Um, look at look at DeMarco Murray, though. He's so glitchy. Um, right here, you see sending heat right edge, right off the... And it's coming from the left side. And, and, and I'm saying to myself, okay, we have to avoid that. I, I do not want to be, you know, passing. Look, I almost came screaming from the left side if I didn't... Uh, if we didn't get chop blocked. So we're going to go for it right here. And uh, the blitz is coming from the left side. But thankfully we catch the C route on the left side for the uh, the big play. So right there, DeMarco Murray just doing DeMarco Murray-like things that we score a touchdown. So after that touchdown, like I was saying earlier, it's a blitz I haven't seen before. It's actually the first time I've seen somebody running this play. And uh, I don't want to try and learn how to <laughs> how to deal with it. If I can keep running and avoid it, that'll be you know my best bet. So right there, we end up getting a sack uh, by Jadavion Clowney. And again, every single play, I'm gonna try and have a spy up and uh, try and set some pressure as well. So we got the blitz going from the right side. We also have the spy up. So we're gonna go ahead and force the punt. Fourth and 25 here. So again, another opportunity to see if we can move the ball downfield and try and put some points on the board. And you can see I'm just very run heavy. Even though this blitz, I passed a few times and it came screaming, not doing so great against the run. So third and six, right? We're just gonna continue running the ball because you know that defense, again, is just not doing that great of a job on the run. And if he can't stop it, hell, I'm going to keep doing it. So hit him with the draw play right here. And eventually, you know, he started getting out of it a little bit because it was just doing so terrible against the run. Uh, right here, we end up passing up top and not the best play by me. He was calling that cover. It was, it was a cover two uh, type blitz. And he was calling it almost every rip. And I thought for sure I was going to catch him. I just overanalyzed it. And I let him back in the game by making a mental error. Uh, what I was thinking was he was going to call the play again. And I'm going to be able to uh, catch, you know, uh, I'm going to be able to outrun the flat and score a touchdown in the back of the end zone. But he didn't call that play. He called the cover six, and I end up just uh, losing out on, on points. So it sucks. But uh, we do end up holding him to a field goal, which is not that bad. It just sucks that we should have been up multiple possessions. But he uh, called a different play when I was expecting him to call that blitz, and I end up just... Not making a good read. Should just threw the ball away. But right there, we run into Mel Blunt, and then uh, I didn't realize he had him until that big play right there. And right here, we try to go deep up top and shapoinkin, and we end up getting a huge, huge, huge play right there with Steve McNair again uh, because we were running the ball so effectively. We end look at just look at Demarco. He's so glitchy because we were running the ball so effectively. Like I said, we got him out of that blitz, uh, even though he ran it right there. You see, you seen it coming, screaming from the left side, right? But we end up scoring a touchdown, just tossing up the to Jordan Reed, <coughs> who is such a beast, man. That Jordan Reed gets, like, such glitchy animations, and he's a monster. That Jordan Reed is freaking really, really good. 
David Johnson just running by us. But 14-3 lead at this point. Hopefully, we're going to head into the half. He decides to roll out, and then we send the spy, and we're going to go on ahead and head on into um, the second half. And we start the half off with the ball. So we're in very good position here. At this point, I don't even care if I score or not. I'm already up two possessions. The job, the goal here is to waste as much time as possible as um, we end up just doing a terrible job of reading the lanes right there towards the end. Uh, and again, you know, I want to try and keep them honest. You know, um, even though I'm really gashing them on the run, I got to pass every now and then because I don't want them run committing. I don't want them stacking the box. I don't want them just completely selling out to the run so i have to pass every now and then just to just a tad just to keep them honest and there goes demarco murray doing demarco murray like things i mean whew, man after this game he said you know what that demarco i need one like i gotta get that demarco murray look what he was doing in my defense and yeah he's a freaking monster <laughs> so right here we're already in field goal range we're perfectly fine with kicking a field goal that's why we just run the ball right there we're fine we're gonna take our three and we waste almost the entire third quarter you guys know man don't give me a lead in the game oh, I'm, I'm nibbling on that clock baby i'm chewing clock so uh him offensively man he's um he's uh not having the best success uh, again you know we got to spy up we're sending some pressure at the same time right here we send dual edge but he ends up just passing the ball really really quickly and it's okay we got to get the hell up out of that defense so hits the flats right there but thankfully it was overthrown uh threw it right as he was about to cut up field and uh we hold him to a third down right here so third and four and uh, this time i thought i had the flat shaded thankfully he dropped it Big fourth down right here, and he ends up going towards the right side and ends up making not the best read. We have plenty of guys there, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and hopefully just run out the remainder of this game. But he starts calling timeouts. He wants to try and get back in this game. <coughs> and DeMarco Murray breaking tackles. Just, just oh, my God. Just DeMarco Murray, bruh. Just DeMarco Murray, bruh. <laughs> so, uh, oh, my God. Hit the hell out of me. I got to run towards the right. He got some hitters on the left side. So we go to the draw play right here. And, uh, again, we're, we're fine. We're kicking a field goal. He's going to go ahead and call a timeout. We're going to run the ball again. And, once again, we're just going to go ahead and settle for three. Uh, he's going to call his very last timeout. I decided to go for it. You know, if I get this, I can go on ahead and just really uh, end the game and just take some knees. But, yeah, I went for the kill, and it didn't work out. Yeah, it, it didn't work out in my favor at all. He shut me down. <laughs> Second and ten right here. Oh, my. I, I was almost there. I was so close to lurking that. Uh, it goes over there towards the right side, and we end up uh, batting that down. And, again, he's having, he's having trouble offensively. Uh, he ends up rolling out, throwing across his body. Dion with the one-handed interception. And that right there is pretty much going to go on ahead and end the game. So, against a very tough opponent, got some great players in Vic and Nitschke and the Goons out there. But a very heavy rushing attack um, went ahead and allowed us to just pretty much dominate the game, time of possession, keep my offense, you know, moving, uh, you know, upfield and just really doing a very good job of not allowing me the need to pass the ball because he had some heat. And it's a good thing that the run was being successful because if I was in position to where I needed to pass the ball, I could have been in trouble because that blitz, the few times I did pass the ball, it was, and he called it, and he, and he didn't get out of it because I was running the ball so much, it, it, it was vicious. It was vicious. So much, I told him to slide in my DMs. I'm going I'm to need that blitz. And I don't think he slid in my DMs yet either. I got to get that from Sleazy. But that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed um, this was actually one of the first games I played with DeMarco. Um, I think it was like my fourth or fifth game with him at this point. And I'm just in absolute love with everything DeMarco Murray has been able to do. Bouncing off of guys, stiff farming guys like crazy, trucking guys, falling forward. It's it's in, in, incredible what he's been able to do. And I'm just hoping he can continue that for me because Lord knows I love to run the ball. And I love to run the ball a lot. And if I can get somebody that can just bounce off of guys and make things easier for me while running the ball, geez, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Again, hopefully you guys enjoy. I think this was for 50K or something like that. You know, something small. You guys know I don't like wagering too much. You guys know I like to keep them wagers small, baby. Where if I win, yeah, I don't win much. But if I lose, I don't lose much. Um, yeah, we still got a few more gameplays for you guys later on today. Uh, tomorrow, again, we're going to have some live comms for you guys. Uh, maybe two or three. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll bust out five. How would that sound for you guys? man? Just bust out five live commentaries for you guys one time for the culture. <laughs> not sure what it is I'm going to do. I will 
definitely uh, try my best to get some sleeps because again we had an 18 hour stream yesterday and uh, I couldn't make the full 24 I just I just couldn't man I, I tried I, I did it Monday I tried this Saturday and well, we was close. We was close. But, you know, 24-hour stream attempts are the tradition in our streams, man. Every single Saturday we try one, man, for the culture. <coughs> but, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing some live commentaries with the DeMarco Murray and the Steve McNair. And um, I'm going to get on those. So tomorrow, for sure, for sure, we're going to have some for you guys. And I may stream a little bit later on today if you guys have some time. You know, feel free to you know check your email if you're following me on Twitch to see if we go live or not. But anyways, see you guys next time, man. We end up winning uh, a wager against a very tough opponent. And uh, we were able to dominate on the ground, which made everything so much easier. See you, boys. Yes, we're going to go ahead and signing out. Peace.